Sometimes if you want to finance your Sprinter van as without a business, you need to have the proper hacks because uh, what happens here is that if you just go, went to, uh, let's say, uh, any random lender and you ask for a Sprinter van as without a business loan, you might actually get a very bad terms and conditions. So in today's conversation, I want to really explain to you the things you need to do if you want to get like a, a Sprinter van as without a business loan real quick. Here are the steps I want you to follow right now. The very first thing I want you to do right now is to set a budget. Boss, the thing here is that when we talk about a Sprinter van expedited business loan, you got to ask yourself, can you afford, can you actually make the monthly payments? Because it's not just about financing your, your Sprinter van expedited. Like, you got to ask yourself, am I going to generate enough revenue to be able to afford the monthly payments? Because see, those monthly payments, once you get the van, you are going to make them day in a month in, month out. There is no month you'll be like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm taking a break from this monthly payment. No, no, no. The lender expects you to make payments every month. So the question is, are you going to generate enough revenue every single month to be able to afford this loan that you are about to get? This is really important. So I want you right now to sit down. I want you to uh, crunch the numbers. I want you to run the numbers to make sure that they make sense to you. Are we talking about down payments? We're talking about monthly payment. We are speaking about lender, lender or dealer fees. You're talking about taxes. Here, I'm just talking to you about not just the monthly payment. There is a constellation of costs that actually relate to that Sprinter van that you are about to get. We have uh, taxes. We have insurance. By the way, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. And uh, I just love this kind of conversations every now and then because uh, we need to clarify things for viewers and uh, also, don't forget annual registration, because if you run a business, depending on the states you are in, you are going to have, you're going to need some kind of information to know exactly what really goes into your operating cost. Okay. In accounting, we call that operating cost. So all the, the overhead you spend on your Sprinter van. So if you have a Sprinter van expert that business, you are going to have maintenance. You're going to have fuel. So you need to set a budget. Okay, because the lender is going to ask you, they, go, they might ask to see that budget. They might ask to see your cash inflows and cash outflows to make sure that you have enough room, monetarily speaking, to take on an additional debt. The second thing I want you to do, boss, if you want to get a, a Sprinter van, expedite a business loan real quick, you need to review your credit. See, the whole thing here is that when we talk about reviewing your credit, I'm just talking about two things, your personal credit and your business credit. And those are two separate things. And I don't care if you have a, a sole proprietorship, even if you have a sole proprietorship, the lender will want to see that your business is actually uh, monetarily, uh, financially stable, okay, S stable entity, and that your personal affairs, also your personal financial affairs are not that messy. Okay, so we're talking about what? We're talking about having a stable financial life. I mean, I'm not trying to look at the moral aspect of things here. We're just talking about your FICO score, making sure you have a, a decent FICO. 600, that's kind of cool. Okay. 600 FICO, that, that's a good start. If you have more, that's, that's even better. On your business side, you will need to have, a, uh, assuming that you have a, a properly established business, you will need to have a downs number. A downs number will allow you to have a paid as score. That's a business credit score. And when we talk about business credit scores, we're talking about three types of business credit scores. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic before I go even further. I'm talking to you about how to get a massive Sprinter van expedited business loan. Okay. EIN only, no personal guarantee. Very important. So I was talking to you about three types of uh, business credit scores. So you have something called PDS score. You have uh, the Experian Intel score plus version two. Then you have uh, the the uh, Equifax has uh, a series of uh, business credit scores, but everything, all those business credit scores, the maximum is 100, and the minimum for Paydex is zero. For the for the other two, it's one. Okay. So the point I'm trying to make here is that you want to actually make sure that you have enough to kind of qualify for the Sprinter Van Expedited Business Loan. If you're trying to finance your van, normally your credit score doesn't matter that much because the van constitute the collateral upon which the lender is going to base his or her decision because something were to happen 
if you start playing games and you don't answer phone calls, you don't pay your, your bills on time. If you default on the loan, they're going to come and just re-put the, the van while you're sleeping or just, the, you know, chilling with your family. Okay, so you got to be really think. You have to be very clear here. It's all about having the right method. Very important. The third thing I want you to really uh, be very clear about is to decide on a vehicle. See, when we talk about a Sprinter van, expediter business loan, you got to ask yourself what kind of Sprinter van do you want to have for your expediter business? Not all, not all uh, Sprinter van models will qualify for the specific expediter business that you want to run or that you are currently running. Okay. This is why we talk about customization. And one thing you need also to understand is that the type of a uh, Sprinter van that you uh, you plan to purchase can determine which loan type you qualify for, which type of seller you need to buy from, and whether or not certain lenders will work with you. Okay, so before you shop around, I want you to determine what kind of van your business needs. So you have to choose between one of those two commercial vehicle loan types. You have a business car loan or equipment loan. In your case, if you already have a Sprinter van, you want to go for equipment loan. Okay. And it's also important to understand that when we talk about lenders, some lenders have restrictions on certain types of vans. Okay, maybe you want to get a Sprinter van or you want a cargo van. It really depends on you. Let me give you an example. Some lenders, this is what our research has showed us. We have seen that some lenders will not finance a van over five years old or 75,000 plus miles. The lender will also need to know the loan amount you need and they want to verify the purpose you'll be using the vehicle for. Okay. So this is really important that you have you understand the whole uh, the whole uh, I mean you have a constellation of things that really impact the van the spirit of van you actually uh, ultimately decide to go for. Another thing that's really important is that if you plan to claim the vehicle the van and related expenses for tax purposes, make sure you have general you have a general understanding of IRS guidelines for use for business use of a car. Okay, because according to the IRS. A vehicle that is used for both personal and business purposes can be considered a business vehicle, but there are strict guidelines on which type of vehicle and what type of expenses qualify for a tax deduction. Okay, it's really important. And the thing is, and I, I want you to really, before deciding on the vehicle, you also have to think about the kind of niche you want to put yourself in, what kind of loads you want to haul, right? Those are important elements for you to actually decide further. On the specific sprint van expediter business loan that you need to have the next thing i want you to do boss is to actually apply to lenders now we have actually covered this on other shows so i'm not going to uh, name names in today's conversation okay but you have all you know you have the, re the regular players you have uh you have a uh, top mark funding you have baboa capital you have a kalamata capital group you have a lend you, which is a marketplace. You can also find a lot of equipment lenders out there. Okay. And you, and you have uh, all, the, all the traditional banks. You have uh, the chases of the world, the Bank of America. So it's really, really, it really depends on what kind of relationship you currently have with traditional lenders first. Before you go to uh, online lenders, before you go to traditional, before you go to uh, alternative lenders, pay attention to what the kind of relationship you have with, with the traditional lenders. By traditional lenders, I'm talking about credit unions. I'm talking about banks. I'm talking about like the, the biggies, you know, the biggies, but also the, the smallies, you know, the biggies, the national banks, such as Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase and City. We also have the regional players. You have the what we call tier two banks. You have here U.S. Bank. You have a PNC. You have Fifth Third. You have Citizens Financial. You have Truist. You have U.S. Bank. So you have TD Ameritrade, you have Capital One. So you do, and, and then and you can try to also go with online lenders and alternative lenders. The point I'm trying to make is you want to actually do some research. If you need help, let us know. We'll be really very, very glad to help you out. Our team has researched more than 133 lenders for Sprinter van and cargo van. So we have a, a large database where we know exactly who is doing what, like, like what's the lender that's kicking ass like crazy in what state? So what really happens here is that shopping around for a Sprinter van expediter business loan, 
allows you to see what you can qualify for and choose the, the offer that works best for your Sprinter Van Expediter business, okay? In addition to credit files, the lender will want to examine certain details of your business. You may need to provide any of all of the following forms and documentation, like a business plan, a tax ID, annual net profit, annual sales, list of outstanding obligations, most recent business tax return, most recent personal tax return. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're still having a conversation about Sprinter Van Expediter Business Loan Hacks. How do you get it real fast? How do you get a large amount real fast? The next thing I want you to do here is to actually uh, review the, the, the whole application and make sure that you are comfortable with, with the loan amounts, with the conditions and terms before you sign on the data line. And it's really important because when, when you analyze a loan agreement for your Sprinter Van Expediter business. You want to pay attention to the loan amount, of course. You have to pay attention to the interest, the APR they're charging you. You want to pay attention to uh, the uh, all the other fees because the fees and the interest will constitute your true APR. Okay, when people hear the terms APR, they think that that's the interest rate. No, interest rate. Your interest rate is different from your APR. To calculate your APR, you have to actually factor into the whole equation. The interest rate, of course, but also the constellation of fees that they might charge you, like closing fees, administrative fees. You know, there might be other fees, so be, be very careful. Okay, so I want you to review the documents thoroughly and make sure you understand the loan terms for your Sprinter Van Expediter business loan. Okay, you may even want to hire a consultant or attorney to review the documents for you. And that's what we advise all our viewers to do because you know what? If you're going to sign a contract for, if you're going to, if you're going to sign a loan, a fifty thousand dollar loan for, for your next Sprinter van, you better be sure that you understand every term. You better be sure you will, you really understand what you, what, you, what you are sell, what you are signing yourself into. It's one of those things you have to. You can't just leave it to chance, boss. No, 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 no. Don't make that mistake. Do not make that mistake. Okay. So, hire someone. Pay them like a hundred dollars, a hundred bucks. That you know it's a one-time deal it's a one-time investment but you're trying to you're trying to really uh, cover your ass you gotta cover your ass this is important okay now the timeline from signing to funding may be may be different depending on your splinter van expedited business loan okay with banks you can expect to receive your your loan within a few days and a few weeks from the date you sign and submit the loan documents and if you take an online or alternative lender it may take even a, a quicker amount of time so it really depends on it also depends on how fast you are able to to provide whatever documentation they ask you to. Okay, you can't just like yeah, you know they're kind of late, whatever. I'm tired. No, but ask yourself, am I able to provide information real quick? Okay. Let me give you a few pro tips before we close to this conversation. So when we talk about lenders, where where do you actually find a Sprinter Van business loan nowadays? At a very good price. Well, you have a, you have a lot of players, a lot of uh, very good players. You know, we're, we're talking about very very good players, and I want to share some of them with you. So you have Bank of America. So the starting APR here, five point seventy nine percent. The amount finance minimum ten thousand dollars. Okay. The loan terms for the loan terms for your Sprint event expedited business loan. We're talking about forty eight to seventy two months. So that's about four years to six years. Very fantastic. Very fantastic. Okay. The only thing, the only thing, the only problem with the Bank of America is that they they want you to show proof of proof of uh, let's say two hundred fifty thousand dollars or more in annual revenue. So it's a little kind of high. And they want you to be in business for two years. And in most cases, if you have, unless you have a strong relationship with Bank of America, their conditions are a little high. For Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo will actually give you up to one hundred percent financing, up to eighty four months in loan terms, and uh, they have uh, manufacturer subsidy programs available. So Wells Fargo is really fantastic. Okay, in terms of uh, the loan amount, started they start you at twenty, more than twenty five thousand dollars. This is just fantastic, and they have flexibility in terms of the repayment terms of up to ten years. Ten years. You you have a PNC. PNC will actually uh, provide up to three million dollars in financing, up to seventy two month, seventy two month loan terms, and zero point zero five percent rate discount for qualified veterans. Fantastic. We we'll love uh, PNC for their all the, the great job they do uh, for veterans. We we'll love them a lot. We we'll love them for that. And you have Ally Bank 
and uh, you have up to 75 month loan terms and financing for it. They, are, they, they do everything. Sprinter vans all the way to heavy duty trucks with up to 700,000 miles. And then you have Capital One. Capital One, you have a 10,000, more than 10,000 that is financed up to 60 months loan terms and minimum requirements of two years in business. Just fantastic. We love that also. And you have a Crest Capital. It's another player that we love a lot. Up to $1 million available, up to 84 months loan terms. And they have financing for private private party purchases and they also find us sprinter van cargo van everything okay just fantastic now before we close to this conversation i want to give you a bonus if you have made it so far i love you god bless you and i want to say i want to explain to you something about commercial refinance what is it is commercial refinance possible so refinance, refinancing a Sprinter van loan can help you reduce your interest rate, your monthly payments, and help you or help you access other terms that meet your business needs. Okay, the best time to refinance a Sprinter van for better terms is when your business or personal credit have improved, interest rates have dropped, or you have paid down a significant portion of the loan balance. Just make sure that the lender that lender fees do not outweigh the benefits of your new loan agreements. Okay. So refinancing is available for business loans through many lenders, including Bank of America, Capital One, Wells Fargo. They have top mark funding. Okay. However, the same restrictions on mileage and vehicle age may still apply, which could make it very challenging to get approved. And in terms of uh, there are alternatives to uh, Sprinter Van Expediter Business Auto Financing. You have uh, commercial leasing. For example, that's a great opportunity here. You can try small business loans. So basically, instead of uh, getting uh, an equipment financing or a Sprinter van, like a, a true business loan, just get a regular business loan, a regular unsecured term loan. And if you have the credit for it, if your business does have the financial, uh, I would say the financial profile for it, go ahead and get that. And once you get that, you'll be able to do a lot, a lot more things. Okay. And the thing that you need to understand here is that when we talk about business auto loans versus alternatives for a commercial auto loan you do have equity there are no mileage limits they have lower rates okay they have tax breaks on depreciation so when you file your tax returns a year in depending on your business structure you actually you will file you will actually account you will write off part of the part of the 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 van's cost in terms of depreciation if you go with a sprinter van leasing you have lower payments that's for sure you have tax breaks on mileage okay you have mileage limits you have limited modifications you can't change anything because the the car ain't yours okay and when it comes to small business loan if you were to take a small unsecured term loan to sort of finance uh, your uh, sprinter van you have few restrictions on funds you do have equity but you do have to think about stricter credit requirements so at the end of the day, you have to really think about what really works for you. Okay. If you're trying to get a Sprinter, Sprinter Van Expediter business loan, you got to ask yourself, am I, do I have the, the, uh, the budget for it? Can I afford it? Can I afford an extra, like, can I afford an extra payments for a business loan? Those are really important. And this will help you actually, uh, carry, carry you all the way to approval when it comes to, uh, talking to the, talking to the, uh, to the lender. Very, very important. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about how to get a massive Sprinter Van Expediter business loan. And I just share with you a few hacks. Okay. So here are the steps I want you to follow right now. You want to set a budget. You want to review your credit. You want to decide on a vehicle, on a van. You want to apply to lenders and you want to sign on the data line after reviewing actually uh, the whole uh, loan application, loan uh, agreement. And I give you a few pro tips. Where do you find a Sprinter Van loan? We have Bank of America, Wells Fargo, we have PNC, Ally Bank, we have Capital One, and Crest Capital. And as I had a quick conversation about commercial refinance, okay, and talked about the pros and cons of uh, buying versus leasing. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.